Hi, my name is Ken Friedman, and uh, I'm going to tell you the greatest learning experience of my life, which was Hurricane Sandy. Um, I live in Hoboken, and uh, the ground floor of my home was destroyed, and my radio station, WFMU, is a block away from the Hudson River, uh, right across from the World Trade Center. Um, as the, uh, oh, this is the old one, I think. You don't have the, oh, you don't have my new slide series. Um, as the storm uh, came up, we uh, did our best to secure what we could, um, but we had already moved all of our servers uh, to the cloud, and uh, as things progressed, uh, the, the two transmitters were knocked off the air, the studio was knocked off the air, but even after the station was knocked off the air, uh, a playlist remained up for the next 12 hours, and people continued to comment in silence and donate money to the station. Uh, the next morning, um, I got on the air and started um, keeping a silent playlist, writing that I was playing things like the John Cage 433 Extended Remix. Um, and amazingly enough, the community gathered around the silent playlist. Um, people continued to donate. Um, and then quickly I realized, hey, our servers are in the cloud. We can broadcast from anywhere. Um, I uh, contacted one of my DJs in Pittsburgh and he immediately connected to the server um, at Amazon and got us on the air within 12 hours of uh, the station being knocked off, at least only on the internet anyway. Um, I tried to get to the station that morning um, by riding my bike through the uh, flood, but all I managed to do was get flagged as inappropriate 27 times. Um, the, the mayor, uh, this, was, this was the, uh, the scene the night before, a, a block away from the radio station, uh, before the power went out. Uh, the water, if it had come up 10 inches more, would have destroyed the entire radio station. Uh, we had about a 14-foot storm surge. If it had been one foot higher, um, it would have flooded the basement where we had everything, every kind of system uh, <laughs> that we need to operate was located in the basement. Uh, that's Avenue C in New York City. Um, unfortunately, these are not the slides that I, uh, yeah, I took that one out. Um, <laughs> but I went around taking, a, taking pictures of uh, a lot of the great graffiti that popped up all over Hoboken and Jersey City. Um, fortunately, um, this, was, this, this is a boat two blocks away from my house um, that they're still looking for the owner of, um, and it's become uh, a, a kind of a symbol in Hoboken. Um, fortunately, we were able to raise the $300,000 of damage that we had um, from our own community, from our own listeners and other radio stations, uh, whereas we have not gotten one penny from any of the trade associations that you would think would have come to our aid or, or our insurance companies, but that was a result of um, getting, uh, getting onto the cloud. Uh, this woman is sporting uh, the popular garbage bag waders um, that were in fashion for several days in Hoboken. Um, after the flood, um, and also firewood was in high demand. People were, uh, that's a, a taxi fleet a few blocks away from my house, um, and you can see all the oil in the water there. Um, I started ripping apart box spring mattresses that people had put out on the sidewalks um, because there was untreated wood that could be used um, for firewood. Um, this was one of our studios. We actually set up studios all over the New York area and in Pittsburgh because we were able to connect directly to our streaming servers in the cloud. So somebody would do a show from Hoboken, and then another per and then they would sign off, and then somebody would do a show from Brooklyn. Um, this shows the island that we were on. We were actually surrounded by water on all sides, um, conforming to the global warming map that I had seen a couple of years ago. Um, uh, <laughs> Governor Christie took time out from single-handedly electing Barack Obama to give, <laughs> to give free hugs um, in Hoboken. I did not manage to get a free hug, but I managed to get photoshopped into a free hug. Um, and this was my second broadcast hurricane emergency. The first one was after Katrina when WWOZ, a great community radio station in New Orleans, was wrecked. Uh, and through crowdsourcing with their listeners, we took over their stream. Listeners sent us their programming. Um, and we were able to recreate their programming until they were able to get back on their feet. Um, the New York Times reported that radio listening um, in the areas without electric rose about 400 um, percent during the hurricane. And I was reminded, uh, as this little girl from the Iranian 
earthquake a number of years ago as I sat by my hand-cranked transistor radio every night, uh, the importance and power of radio in disasters and emergencies. Thank you. Thank you.